I'm honestly so bloody tired about the way that the game industry is going and media in general. Like, I'm just, I, I don't really know what to say anymore. After, like, the changes that have been made with the Game Awards, the nominees for the Game Awards and all that kind of thing, I'm kind of, like, losing faith in all of the media and in general. Now, it, it's been a while since I've given a shit about the general thoughts of legacy media, for example, but the things like the Game Awards and stuff, I used to be excited for, and there's just no excitement for it anymore because I know for a fact that it's literally just going to be filled with shill content where the developers and publishers and stuff are doing side notes to give the game award shows the 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 things that they need because at the end of the day even if they're not paying the game award shows they could be paying the uh the guys who are in charge of the jury for example and with their players only having 10 percent of the votes there's just no way to actually talk about how you can have math calculated in a way that's gonna actually have it seem like our votes are ever gonna matter and this comes from someone who's very good with math, who is a very good friend of mine. And they couldn't figure out a way of how the voting could ever go in the favor of the players. And it's just such an annoying thing to think that the, the game of the year is not actually being voted by you. It's being voted by these shill, absolute twat bag, complete nonsense legacy media people from IGN and those kind of places. And it's just completely annoying the shit out of me. So I decided to do something. I decided to try and create a game award. Now I named it the players game awards because this is going to be 100 on the player only now i will leave a link for the new youtube channel for that in the description and the pinned comment and i also leave a link to the intro video of what it's actually going to be about and what what's going to be going on but in this video i'm just going to tell you like my opinions on the stuff that i'm going to be doing or how we're going to break it down and what my plan is going on in the future for making this kind of content for you guys because I'm, I'm just i'm just tired of listening to the same old drivel so the plan is to the player game award it's gonna have only votes for nominations and for the game itself for each of the categories that we're going to be having in it it's going to be voted for by the players only and at the moment i can only really do that via a google form which again i will leave a link for that google form down in the description as well so we can get that going if you guys want to jump in there and do that it won't take you that long to vote for your game and it will really help to kind of make this go a little bit further and i'd love to see some of the content creators actually take my side on some of this and go and make some videos and make some content regarding how we can actually get the gaming industry especially in the western world because the east is doing fine but the western world is absolutely dog shit and full of paid bullshit and paid shills it's it's gone to the point where it's just absolutely ridiculous so i i, I just wanted to create this thing or try to and i'm going to try and do a very quick one this year but next year i'm going to be putting a hell of a lot more time into it and a hell of a lot more things are going to be done with it and i was just hoping that maybe this is something that you guys would be interested in how it's going to be all by you guys for you guys now there's also the fact that i'm going to be releasing all of the collected data now this is not going to include any email addresses any personal information anything like that only the data of the votes so the votes that have been tallied up i'll give all the information from the google form and a google sheet so anyone who wants to have access to that after the game awards will be able to have access to that and they can prove whether or not it's been done and dusted and it's still true to the players now i believe in a complete transparency and completely allow Allowing you guys to see exactly what happens behind closed doors and that'll be something that I'll be making content on on this channel it's something that I hope is going to be something that we really need for the actual gaming community in general where the developers can't just bullshit their way through things and pay their way into people being silent and it's not something that I'm ever going to allow to happen uh, it's just not in my repertoire of personality I, it's a personality defect because I can't fucking stand people that actually will do stuff and change their opinions on things just for a bit of money you can make more than enough money from ads if you're doing consistently good consistently on point and consistently truthful content you don't need to get that payment from another developer and so what if you don't get an early access key people are still going to watch your opinion if you're true to yourself so that's something that i really want to do and i really want to get going and I hope that you guys will help me out with this. So make sure to go and subscribe to that channel. And if you haven't already, you can subscribe to this channel. It's more about me talking with no scripts and just venting the information that's going on and reviews and stuff like that. And parts of game content that I like to just talk about. That's not really going to be, it's unfiltered. So it can be good and it can be bad sometimes. Because sometimes I'll say things that just aren't correct. Uh, but it's part of just not holding back and just saying what you want to say. And so it's, it's needed. But there's a lot of content creators like Endemian, like uh, as 
plasma and gold like hex hay and all those kind of people that are actually talking their own full opinions and then there's a lot of people that aren't and like the game show i'm gonna actually try to create the game awards that i'm gonna try to create is gonna have good and bad it's gonna have awards for having good content it's good characters good narrative good art direction but it's also gonna have awards for the worst game of the year and it's gonna have awards for games that didn't live up to its actual namesake for example we all know dragon age fail god we all know how much people love dragon age until this game came out and it was slowly going down granted for since dragon age origins it was kind of going down from dragon age origins and the first mass effect so like it was a steady decline but Veilguard just kind of put the icing on the cake for that and they need to be called out on it they need to be told the people need to literally understand and they need to be it just needs to be put out in the open and it will you made a shit game through and through and there are other games that have not even been nominated in the game awards for example hell divers 2 it's a fucking amazing game and it's not even in there and it's something that i'm going to be adding as well with live service awards and stuff like that so it can actually have some multiplayer awards so to be more specific in what games and developers going to get and it's going to give them feedback on what's good and what's not good and what you've done really well and what you can work on i'm hoping to do more content based on those kind of things i don't want to be overly negative i don't want to be overly positive i just want to be straight forward and neutral and i'm really hoping that's something that uh, you guys will be interested now obviously the game awards that i'll be doing the players game awards that i'll be doing this year won't be extravagant it's just going to be your guys votes now the first set of votes and nominations will be going up until the 30th of november so you have to get in there and vote as quickly as you can so we can get this ball rolling in. make sure to share it on your social medias make sure to share it on your youtube channels make sure to share it wherever you can show your family show your friends show your cat your cat can subscribe as well just let them do it i know a lot of you tiktokers out there have cat tiktok subscribe to it and i really think this can go really well going forward and we can start pushing out the bullshit that comes with all of this content that's just being thrown at you through ideological means through ulterior motives through money backhanders that kind of thing because it's just not something that i would ever do and anyone that knows me knows that that's the case and i've made god knows how many videos on shitting on stuff and blah 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 because it's my actual opinion on things i have no promotions on the channel i have no game company paying for me to make a review on stuff now i'm only a small channel granted and probably because i don't make that kind of content is why it kind of stays on the back burner or maybe it's just because my content is shit but hopefully the, the players game awards is actually going to be something that can i can actually grow and make into something that's benefiting our community rather than just being able to to just talk about stuff that i'm crapping on i'm going to still make the content for this channel 100 percent but i'm going to be putting a lot of work into this new channel so make sure to jump down and subscribe and like it if you do watch the video throw a like share it as i said earlier check it up on social media it's definitely something that's needed and i know there's going to be other people that are thinking the same thing and they'll probably create things and they'll probably be able to do it a lot easier and a lot better with the bigger communities but i'm hoping that maybe it gets out there where we actually speak to i'm, I'm contacting various content creators to see if they can like uh, give a little bit of a push for it i've stuck some posts up on social media i'm on both blue sky and on x slash twitter i could always end up calling it twitter for some reason but it is there and it is ready and it is something that is going to be done by the end of december it will be on december 31st to be doing the game awards uh that will be from the 1st of december to the 30th of november every year so we'll get the nominations put in by the 30th of November. Then those nominations uh, will be put in and then I'll put voting out hopefully a week after that. Uh, and then you guys can vote for three weeks to see what your favorite game is of the year and all of the other little ins and outs that are going to be on there. It's all going to be down to you, the player, as it always bloody should be. And none of this jury bullshit. There will never be a jury. They'll never have anything to do with any of those things. And I have things in place that's going to be able to help with uh, the trolling that they, they blame the jury having a jury on the trolling and but you just really have no say in what's good and what isn't good anymore so it, it's just it is but anyway i want to thank you all for watching remember to like and sub for all your gaming goodness and remember to go over to the players game awards and vote for it and vote for your favorite games I'm, i can't wait to see what you guys are saying and thinking fly safe and avoid local chat scams